Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. We're going to do hypothesis testing with proportions uh, as we've done in the last uh, section. So let's just read this guy here. It says, a report states that at least 75% of women like red roses. Angie thinks that this figure is too high. So to test this, she asked 125 women and she finds that 92 do like red roses. At a 0.1 level of significance, test this claim. At a 0.1 level of significance, test this claim. So the first thing we need to do is write the null and the alternate hypothesis. Now it says right here, report states that at least 75% of women like red roses. That is the null hypothesis. Notice we don't use mu, we say p, the population proportion, greater than or equal to 0 0.75. This is the null hypothesis. The report states that the population of people more than or equal to 75% like red roses. Now the alternate hypothesis comes from Angie, who doesn't think this is the case. She thinks that less than 0.75, or 75% of the people, like uh, red roses. Now notice this is a left-hand arrow, so this is going to be a left tail test. So keep that in the back of your mind. Now first, before we do anything, let's verify that we're even allowed to use the, um, the normal distribution, which I told you already that you will, but let's verify it. So to test for normality, You can kind of write it like that. The test for normality is n times p greater than or equal to 5. Now in our particular problem, it says she asked 125 women. So n is 125 women. p comes from the null hypothesis, 0 0.75 greater than or equal to 5. And when you do this multiplication, 125 times 0.75, you get 93.75 greater than or equal to 5. So we put a check there and say, yes, this is true. Now the other test that we have to pass, we have to pass both of them to be able to use the normal distribution is n times 1 minus p greater than or equal to 5. So in this case, we asked 125 women, 1 minus p, which is 0 0.75, greater than or equal to 5. All right, so you know 1 minus 0.75 is 0 0.25. When you multiply that by 125, you get 31.25 and that is greater than or equal to 5, so that is verified as well. So they're both in the clear, they're both verified, and since they both pass, it just simply means that our sample size is large enough that we can use a normal distribution for this problem. So that's what we're going to do. Now, in order to um, make any progress, what you know, we're gonna draw a picture and all that stuff, but you know that you're gonna need to find that test statistic. The test statistic is, it really everything hinges on the answer. You get a z 